Hi, my name is Jennifer Jolinas. I am the project coordinator for the Westport Fishermen's Association, and I'm here today at the Horse Neck Point Life Saving Station number 69. This building is near and dear to our hearts. It was part of a restoration project that we've done with Mass State DCR, and through the Historic Curatorship Program, we've obtained a 25-year lease to keep the building open, free, and to the public. So we're thrilled about that. Today we had a special um, presentation and dedication of this building to the architect Christopher Chip Gillespie who came forward about seven years ago to much of our delight to help us with the um, accuracy in making sure that we restored the building to its historic beginning, back to its historic beginning. The building originated back in 1888 over at Horseneck Beach and was then later moved over to this location on East Beach Road in Westport, Massachusetts for the ease of access to the waterways because from this location we have two access points, one directly out in front of the building and another over to the right of the building. Tell me a little bit about what the building next door was used for. Because we looked at that too and when people come and visit they'll see that also? Yes, part of the reason that we got drawn into the idea of restoring this building and the visitor center which is next door is because as what we do for our organization is we are an environmental advocacy group and we work to preserve and restore the Westport River for future yeah. future generations to come. So the visitor center next door allows us a lovely space to be able to present our work to the public and to keep them informed of what we are doing from year to year in different projects that we take on. You were telling me what it had been used for? Yes, it was originally built back in the late 30s, early 40s, and it was a actual a clam cake serving ice cream shack which had um, and it had taken on many different lives it had been restaurants through the years it had been personal private um, home space but and the last use of that space was for an environmental center known as the edge owned by Mary Schmidt back in I want to say the early 90s and in the summer you are open we're open in the summer on Wednesdays Saturdays and Sundays 12 to 4 so we hope you can come by and see it for yourselves and the website if people want to learn more about our website is www.westportriver.org